so excited to see you again. This week is very exciting because it's the International Week of the Deaf. And we're gonna have some fun today, learning all about signs and deaf culture and just have some fun, right? So we're gonna learn lots of new things. And one of them is different kinds of rhymes in ASL. And normally when we sing, we might have some rhymes but they're very different. So you might rhyme the words boy and toy, but in ASL, they're rhyming based on hand shapes like blue and bi, stuff like that, because it's the same hand shape. But they also do different kinds of rhyming things through rhythms as well. So we're gonna have a, lo have a lot of fun today. So first we're gonna have our book. And all of our books today also have deaf characters inside. So that'll be good. So also, if you need closed captionings, turn them on now because I can't sign and read at the same time. It's too hard. Okay, are we ready to have fun this week? Great. So the first book is called A Birthday for Ben. My name is Ben and last week my seventh was my seventh birthday. When you meet me for the first time, you might notice I'm wearing something on my ear. Before you ask, it's not for listening to music or for talking on the phone. It's, a, it's to help me with my hearing. Some people can find everyday things difficult to do. My friend Sam finds it hard to see, so he wears glasses to help him see more clearly. I'm deaf, which means I don't hear very well, so I wear a hearing aid to help me hear. Even though I have a hearing aid, I still find it hard to hear clearly some of the words that people are saying. Because of this, the way I speak might sound a little different to my friends. When I'm with my friends, they try not to speak too fast. It sometimes helps if I watch their lips carefully so that I can understand what they are saying. I have lots of other friends who are not in my school who also wear hearing aids. When we are together, we sometimes use a language called sign language, which means using our hands instead of our voices to communicate with each other. Even people who don't wear hearing aids use their hands to make themselves understood. Like when you wave to your friend to say hello or goodbye, or when a policeman needs to direct cars on the road. Sometimes I feel a little bit different to my friends in school. Not because I find it hard to hear, but because I don't really like birthday parties. When the time comes to play party games, I feel left out. For, for a lot of the games, you need to hear the music to be able to join in. Ben, you can't play because you won't be able to hear the music, my friend Jim told me at his birthday party. So I just sat by myself until the games were over and I went. It was time to go home. One day my mom was driving me home from school and she asked me if I'd like to have a party for my seventh birthday and invite all of my friends along. No, I said angrily, I hate birthday parties. Very well, said mom with a smile. No birthday for Ben this year. On the morning of my seventh birthday, my big sister Sophie woke me up early so I could open my presents. Happy birthday, Ben, she shouted happily. Hmm, I hate birthdays, I said. Later that day, I went for a drive with my dad to the shops. When we arrived home, dad opened the front door very slowly and told me to go inside. Surprise, happy birthday, Ben, everyone shouted. All my friends had party hats and where they were there to surprise me and have a party for my birthday. Oh no, I whispered to my mom. What party games will we play? I don't want my friends who are deaf to feel left out. Don't worry, Ben, she said. There are lots of games you can play where everyone can join in and have fun, said my mom. First, we played Pass the Parcel. Everyone sat in a big circle and passed around a present with lots of wrapping paper on it. Instead of stopping the music to find out who the winner would be, Mom flashed the light so we could all tell when to stop. Next, we played musical chairs. As well as playing the music, Mom used a red stop and green go cards to let everyone know where to, when to stop and find a chair and when to start again. Afterwards, we all played a game of hide and seek in the garden. This time, no one felt left out and we all joined in and had lots of fun together. When it was time for my friends to go, they all said it was the best birthday party they'd ever been to. Now I just can't wait for my next birthday and I'd like to invite you to come along too. Yay! That was a great story. So now we're gonna have some rhymes that we were talking about, right? So first you're going to, we're gonna do the peekaboo rhyme. So the signs you need to know for this one are peekaboo, 
lion, tiger, bear, monkey, and spider. And do you remember how I said some of the rhymes are for hand shapes? So this one's one of them. Because you have lion, which is this hand shape, monkey, same shape. So that's how they're a rhyme. Okay, are we ready? So we're gonna do it two times and we're gonna turn our voice off for the rhymes because that's how they do rhymes in ASL, no voice. Ready, here we go. Were you scared of the spider? No. That was fun, right? So now we're gonna do another one. And this one's called ice cream. So if you have a baby at home, who's your sister or your brother or your friend, or you have a doll or a toy that you wanna do it, your bear, you can do it to it, or you can do it to your sister or your brother, whatever. So you're gonna have an ice cream cone and you're just gonna keep putting lots of scoops of ice cream cones on top. And then you're going to try to hold it because it's gonna be so heavy and it's gonna fall all over your toy or your bear or your baby. Are we ready to go? Okay. You like that one it's fun so now we're gonna do a morning song and so you need to know the signs for the sun coming up time wake up get dressed eat brush your teeth put on your backpack time to go and school are you ready okay So now we're going to do another hand shape rhyme. So this one's with this hand shape. So you're gonna have for bye, sweet, butterfly, and fly. Are you ready? Now we're gonna do one about darkness and brightness and all the opposites. So you need to know dark and bright and wake up and sleep and night and day and then dark and bright again. Are we ready? Okay.
gonna do a craft. So what do you need for this craft? You need your scissors, some markers, and some paper. I'm going to pick blue, I think blue today. So what you're going to do is you're gonna make the I love you sign and you're gonna trace your hand. Okay, so I'm gonna make my I love you sign. I'm gonna stick it on the paper and I'm gonna trace around it. Making sure to get your knuckles and your pinky. And it's gonna look like that. And then now we are going to cut it out. So now you can color it whatever way you want. You can put stickers on it. You could use a stamper to make it whatever you want. I am gonna put some hearts on it since it's an I love you sign so I can make it beautiful. I'm gonna use different colors. Maybe some orange. And some blue. Okay, and there's my I love you sign. And now you can give it to someone that you love. So normally in our videos, we would now sing the cleanup song, but because today we're having a deaf week and we wanna learn all of the rhymes, we're gonna have a clean up rhyme. Are you ready? Okay, so you need to know, you need to know clean up, which a lot of you do, and time, and books, and putting things away, and markers, and paper, and then all done. So ready? Here we go, I'm gonna do it tw two times. So now we're gonna have our things all cleaned up. There we go. So now we're gonna have our second book. And this one is called Moses Goes to a Concert. Moses plays on his new drum. He can't hear the sounds he's making because he is deaf, but he feels the vibration of the drum through his hands. He has taken off his shoes so he can feel it through his feet, too. Today, Moses is going on a field trip. His teacher, Mr. Samuels, is taking him and his classmates, who are all deaf, to a young people's concert. As the children climb onto the bus, they wonder what is inside Mr. Samuels' black bag. 
A big surprise, signs Mr. Samuel. On the bus, Moses signs to his friend, John. My parents gave me a new drum. John signs back, I got one too. Mr. Samuels leads them to their seats in the first row. Across the stage, across the stage in front of the orchestra are all the percussion instruments. Children, the percussion percussionist is a friend of mine, signs Mr. Samuels. What's a percussionist? Anna signs back. A musician who plays an instrument such as a drum, cymbals, even a piano, replies Mr. Samuels. A young woman walks on the stage. Everyone stands up to applaud. Some of Moses' classmates wave instead of clapping. The percussionist smiles and bows to the audience. She has no shoes on, Moses signs in surprise. The teacher smiles and signs. She is deaf too. She follows the orchestra by feeling the vibrations of the music through her stocking feet. Then Mr. Samuels takes 11 balloons out of his black bag and hands one to each of his students. Oh, what beautiful balloons, Anna signs. Hold them on your laps, signs Mr. Samuels. They'll help you feel the music. The percussionist watches the conductor and moves from one instrument to the next, striking each to make a sound. Moses and his classmates hold their balloons in their laps. They can feel the music as the balloons pick up vibrations. When the concert is over, Mr. Samuels has another surprise. He takes the children on stage to meet his friend, Mrs. Marjorie Elwin. She will tell you how she became a percussionist, signs Samuels. I became seriously ill at the age of seven, signs Mrs. Elwin, Miss Elwin, and when I recovered, I found out that I had lost my hearing and I was deaf. What did you do, signs Moses? I worked hard, my heart was set on becoming a percussionist, and I did. Now you can play on my instruments, Miss Elwin signs. Come with me, children. Anna plays on the marimba. Beverly strikes the triangle. Mark pounds the floor tom and the cymbal. Diane beats the tom-toms. John hits the snare drum and Moses thumps the bass drum. David strikes the gong. Tommy and Susie play on the tubular bells while Steve bangs the kettle drum and Maria plays the convos. Children, we have to go, Mr. Samuels announced after a while. Miss Elwin has to get ready for another concert. Moses and his classmates said thank, sign thank you and then wave goodbye to Miss Elwin. On the bus on the way home, Moses signs, it was so much fun. That night, Moses tells his parents about the concert. Here's what he says. When you set your mind to it, you can become anything you want when you grow up. A doctor, Artist, teacher, lawyer, farmer, electrician, or actor. I want to become a percussionist. Yay! That was a good book. So now we're going to have some more rhymes. So this one is all about the bath. So you need to know the signs for bath. Ready? The water filling up. Washing your arms. Washing your hair. Finished and the water going down. Are we ready? We're gonna do it two times. So that was good. Do you have a bath? And I was just thinking about our story and about how the boy, he could feel the music. Have you ever done that? Have you ever tried? Have you ever turned on some music and taken off your socks and felt the vibrations in the floor? It's really cool. It's very neat to feel it. Maybe next time you're listening to music, you can do that. So now we're going to do a rhyme about colors. So you need to know the signs for colors and red, apple, orange, pumpkin, yellow, sun,
green grass, blue ocean, white clouds, black cat, and colors. Are we ready? Great. So now we're going to do one all about fall. So, because when I look outside, I see the leaves are starting to change. Do you see them? All the different colors. What colors do you see? I see orange and greens and yellows. It's so nice to go on walks right now so you can see all of the colors outside. And it's my favorite time of year, fall. So we're going to do a rhyme. So you need to know fall, tree, the leaves falling from the tree, the leaves filling up, we're throwing the leaves, and the leaves are falling down. Are we ready? Great. do our our last one this one's a rhyme about water so you need to know water and rain and drink and bath and wash hands and pour are we ready to go okay So now we're going to have our last book, book number three. So this one is called What the Jack Daw Saw. The Jack Daw flew over the seaside, and this is what the Jack Daw saw. Waves crashing, children splashing, starfish sleeping, dolphins leaping, and an octopus tussing his head with a tentacle. Come to my party, the jackdaw said, but the octopus went on touching his head. The jackdaw flew over the farm, and this is what the jackdaw saw. Piglets squeaking, gate creaking, cows grazing, sheepdog lazing, and a white horse touching her head with her hoof. Come to my party, the jackdaw said, but the horse just went on touching her head. The jackdaw flew over the town, and this is what the jackdaw saw. Buses rumbling, people grumbling, a taxi hooting, children shooting, scooting, and a black cat touching his head with his paw. Come to my party, the jackdaw said, but the cat just went on touching his head. The jackdaw flew over a forest, and this is what the jackdaw saw. A ferret dancing, a deer prancing, a fox jumping, a rabbit thumping, and a red squirrel touching her head with her tail. Come to my party, the jackdaw said, but the squirrel just went on touching her head. The jackdaw flew into a thundercloud, and this is what the jackdaw saw. Nothing. Jackdaw crashing, thunder, th lightning flashing, thunder clapping, feathers flapping, and a brown owl touching his head with his wing. Why didn't they warn me, the jackdaw cried. 
Why didn't you see them? The Edward Owl replied. Octopus signing, white horse signing, black cat signing, red squirrel signing. Every one of them was touching its head. Danger, danger, that's what they said. The jackdaw flew up to the owl's branch. Then fingers twirling, wings whirling, eyes happy, feet tappy, the jackdaw learned to sign with his wings. Come to my party, the jackdaw signed. Then all the animals followed behind. The jackdaw flew back to the seaside. Look who's there, can you see? Octopus drumming, black cat strumming, white horse swaying, red squirrel playing, and the jackdaw signing with his wings. Then lots more signing friends appeared. What a great party, everyone cheered. Yay! That was a good story. Have you had fun today? I have. And if you want more fun, there's lots of things on the internet that you can do and so I, in the newsletter, you can see your mom and your dad, your grandma, your grandpa, any adult in your family can help you see all the things that I found about deaf culture and videos and different things so you can learn more if you want to. All you have to do is read it or email me and I can send it to you. So now we would normally have our goodbye song. So we're gonna do that. And it's the only song that we're gonna do today. So. Are we ready? The day is done and we had fun. The day is done and we had fun. We'll see you again next week. But for now, the day is done. Bye guys, I'll see you later. Have fun.